is your friend Tim, and today I'll tell you how Jump Jump, the little elf from Holiday House, and I finally succeeded in saving Christmas. Just when Merry Holiday, Jump Jump, and the other folks from Holiday House and I had managed to rescue the reindeer and send them back home to Santa, we had been captured and made prisoners in the Ice Queen's palace. Now in just a minute, I'll go on with my story. of her palace, the Ice Queen had warned us that she was going to turn us all to ice. Mary Holiday had called to Achi Pogli the Clown to be careful when... Achi Pogli, oh, Achi Pogli, look out. Oh, the Ice Queen is touching Achi Pogli. Oh, Pogli, turn the ice. Oh. oh, you wicked Ice Queen. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. Uh, ice Queen, I've been thinking that... Uh... Oh, sleepy, sleepy. I had enough from you, too, lion. Oh, Sleepy Slim, Sleepy Slim, now you've turned to ice, too. And I too. have no need of a poet at the ice palace. Oh, the poet. The poet is standing stiff and still. He can't move. And as for you, Merry Holiday. Don't you dare touch Merry Holiday. Oh, Merry Holiday, she's standing so still. And I'm tired of elves. You'll never catch me, Ice Queen. You'll never catch me. That's it, Jump Jump. Jump fast. You missed him, Ice Queen. You missed him. Jump fast, Jump Jump. Over the table. Throw on the chair. You can't catch him, Ice Queen. Jump up on the silver screen, Jump Jump. Oh, you see, she can't catch you up there. Come here, you elf. I command it. Come here. Don't come down off the top of the screen, Jump Jump. Don't come down. Come down, I say. Hey, listen to me, Ice Queen. Hey, Come listen. down, I say. Listen to him, Ice Queen. He wants to make a bargain with you. A bargain? An elf bargains with a queen? Come down. He wants you to look in your magic mirror. Your television screen, Ice Queen. Well, what do you want the Ice Queen to see, Jump Jump? It's some sort of a trick. I'll play no games with elves. What shall I do, Christmas fairy? Please do something to help us. I don't know what to do. Everybody's been turned to ice except Jump Jump and me. Please help us, Christmas fairy. Then I heard the beautiful music which told me that the Christmas fairy was near. Listen, Ice Queen, listen. It is only the voice of the Christmas spirit. <laughs> but your wonderful fairy doesn't dare show herself in my tower room. You're mistaken about that, Ice Queen. Look behind you. There she is. So, at last we meet, Christmas spirit. As you can see, your friends here have turned to ice. You have no power here to melt their hearts which have turned to ice. 
But the Christmas fairy only smiled and went toward Mary Holiday, who was standing like a statue made of ice. Don't you dare to touch them! Oh, look, Jump Jump, the Christmas fairy touched Mary Holiday. And now she's touching Archie Pogley and Sleepy Slim and the poet. Are you all right, Mary Holiday? Yes, yeah, Are you I'm all right, right Archie Pogley, mm-hmm. Sleepy Slim, mm-hmm. and poet? I'm all right, yep. Oh. Don't ever be afraid, Tim. We're all all right. The Christmas fairy has told me that there is something the Ice Queen is afraid of. The Ice Queen? Afraid? Afraid of what, Mary Holiday? Afraid? I? I am afraid of nothing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, you are. You are afraid to look at all the faces of the children in your silver screen. Yes, you are. That's right, Ice Queen. So you are. I'm not afraid to look at children's faces. She's afraid. She's afraid. I'll show you I am afraid of nothing. I'll switch on the silver screen at once. How long has it been since you looked at the world, Ice Queen? I never waste time looking at human creatures. Haven't you ever watched the children before, Ice Queen? Of course not. I have important things to do. Now the screen is ready to show me whatever I desire. Make it show you a toy shop, Ice Queen. Very well. Oh, silver screen of magic skill. Yield thy mirror to my will. Let us see a shop where toys are sold and bought for girls and boys. Now the silver screen shows us a big store. And there are hundreds of children crowding around the toys. What are they doing? They are looking at toys. Why are they smiling? They are happy. Why are they happy? They are thinking of what they want for Christmas. There will be no Christmas. There are children putting ornaments on a Christmas tree now. And they're laughing. What is that strange light in their eyes? That's the light of happiness, Ice Queen. See the star on top of the Christmas tree? It's shining so brightly. Its brightness hurts my eyes. That star itself is the token of Christmas, which is peace and joy. I can't look at it anymore. And the way the children are smiling, the way their faces are aglow with joy, I can't look anymore, I can't look. Yes, look, look at them, look at them. I can't look at them. Something is happening, something is happening to my heart. It makes my heart hurt. How can it hurt you to see the children so happy and waiting for Christmas? I don't know. But something in their faces makes me feel as if my heart were, were melting. Now they are singing. I can hear them. It hurts my ears, my ears, my ears. They're singing a Christmas carol. Look at the ice cream, Tim. Look at you, Papa. The ice cream looks different. Yes. Do you know what I think? I think the spell is broken. Yes. Yes, I think the spell is broken. Yes, and it makes me feel fine. I feel happy. Look, I can even turn a handspring again. Here I go. The Christmas spirit is won, Tim. <laughs> jump, jump. The Christmas oh. spirit is won. And, and look at the ice cream now. She's gazing into the screen at the children around the tree. Yes. And I... She's melting all right, Mary Holiday. See? Her heart is melting. She's crying, crying real tears. Oh, she is. And the walls of the tower room are changing. Oh, Tim, they're turning from ice into walls of silver. They sparkle like stardust. It's the most amazing thing I ever saw. Oh, how wrong I have been to try to take away from the world something as joyous as Christmas. Let's change the Ice Queen's name to yes. Snow Queen, shall we? Yes. Ice is cold and bitter, but snow is the Earth's warm coat in winter. Yep. Yep. Yes. Oh, look now. The Christmas fairy is standing beside the Snow Queen, and they're hand in hand. What's that sound? Oh, oh come to the balcony and look, Mary Holiday. What is it? 
I do believe that all of those ice statues that we saw on the plain have come to life. Really, yes. Auntie Parsley, yes. really? Yes, come and look. Everyone out there is so happy to be alive and well again. They're dancing and cheering. time, you know. We must hurry. I have the wishing star, your wishing star. You can be with Santa Claus in a very short while with so many good wishes to guide you. Then things happened so fast I could hardly keep up with them. First, the snow queen took us to where the wishing star was. And we all climbed aboard and whisked off. Somehow, as we went flying along toward the North Pole, I began to get sort of sleepy. Jump Jump was jumping on my shoulder. The last thing I remember was his little voice saying to me, Welcome, we saved the Christmas temperature off, didn't we? <laughs> then the faces of Mary Holiday, Archie Pogley, Sleepy Slim, the poet, and Jump Jump and the others began to fade slowly away. Oh, I was so tired, I began to dream that I was in the woods near the orphanage again. I thought Mrs. Burns, our matron, was touching me and saying, Oh, Tim, I'm so glad we found you. You've been asleep here in the woods. Of course, what really happened was that Mary Holiday and the others must have taken me to the woods in the Wishing Star and left me off there close to the orphanage. When I woke up next morning, I was back in my own bed. It was all a bit hazy, but one thing I do know, I really did go to the North Pole and have that wonderful adventure with Jump Jump. I know I did, because that year, when Christmas Eve came around, anyone who doubted my story sure had a big surprise coming, because do you know what happened on Christmas Eve at the orphanage? Well, I'd better keep that last and best part of my story for tomorrow. So be sure and meet me here, and I'll tell you just what it was. 